hundreds of years, the indigenous Sami people of the Arctic have practiced reindeer husbandry. As hunter-gatherers, Sami depend on reindeer for food. But reindeer are much more than just a source of meat. For the Sami, nature is spiritual. Sami believe reindeer give themselves up to hunters, and hunters are then in turn obligated to give meat to others, sharing with those who lack the means to hunt for themselves. Through centuries of herding, the Sami have learned to maintain remarkable, sustainable land management strategies to protect reindeer pastures, observe changes in conditions, and use natural resources in practical ways. The unfortunate reality is that reindeer populations are currently facing threats from changing environmental conditions. This means dire consequences for the Sami. Reindeer husbandry is, for them, an economic industry, it's also a source of cultural identity, and it has also shaped social relationships within Sami society. All of these elements are at stake, right now. And that's because Arctic ecosystems are extremely delicate. They rely heavily on formations of permafrost and seasonal frosts, which are highly susceptible to changes in climate. In fact, a growing body of evidence shows the high latitudes of the Arctic are the most sensitive regions of Earth's whole climate system. Currently, climate change-induced shifts in temperature, precipitation, and snow are wiping out grazing lands for Sami reindeer herders in the Arctic. Results from field data and numerical modeling indicate that warmer atmospheric temperatures cause increasing instances of rainfall on snow-covered land surfaces during the winter. These rain-on-snow events have serious consequences for Arctic ecosystems and are linked in particular with large-scale reindeer death. Reindeer herds depend on the availability of tundra vegetation and good foraging conditions, especially when raising their young. But when heavy rain falls during Arctic winters, it trickles through snow until it hits the soil below, where it freezes and forms a thick layer of ice. Reindeer are unable to penetrate the ice to access the mosses and lichens growing on the soil surface. That's not the only problem. Formations of ice also trap heat beneath snow, increasing soil temperatures. Warmer soil promotes the growth of toxic fungi and mold, rendering mosses and lichens inedible. Now some places are naturally more prone to these rain on snow events, and reindeer have adapted to avoid these affected areas. But as warming continues, and the frequency and spatial coverage of rain on snow events increases, more and more potential grazing lands are becoming either inaccessible to reindeer or home to inedible vegetation. Another consequence of climate change is increasing incidences of extreme weather. Reindeer are dying in severe blizzards, but also in high summer temperatures, and that's because Arctic animals aren't equipped to withstand high temperatures. Reindeer keep a thick layer of fur all year round, and they don't have the proper sweat glands to regulate their body heat in warmer weather. We have to remember, the Sami are not at fault for these current and rapidly developing threats to reindeer populations. As members of an economy reliant on industries and technologies that pollute and degrade the environment, we need to be conscious of how our actions and contributions to climate change are affecting other human beings' livelihoods. Climate change is not a projection anymore. People and animals are feeling its effects right this instant. As contributors, we have a responsibility to our Arctic neighbors to act. Hey,